Welcome Spazites, and I have sad, sad news today. This is it. This is the last of Wave 2-2 of Jack Specific World of Nintendo action figures. We'll be opening this one today and doing a review, and then I don't know what we're going to be doing next, for I am all out of action figures currently. I will be continuing my Skylanders Let's Play on the channel here, and we will be having a grand old time doing that. But uh, I may start to open my uh, my Pokemon stuff in the background, or I don't know. I haven't decided. But for now, let's open our Legend of Zelda action figure, our Princess Zelda figure. Oh no, I dropped her. I dropped her ocarina. I dropped her little ocarina. Wow, this is really detailed. I can't wait to show it to you. I dropped her little ocarina, but until then, let's uh, let's move on. Enough with the dramatics. Let's have fun, cause that's what we're here to do. <coughs> Pardon my voice. I am still battling this cough. It is still the same day as it has been for the last few videos. And I apologize. I will be starting the haunt soon. So my voice is going to be really hoarse on Sundays when I do my Let's Plays. Because I'll already have been yelling for two days. So uh, let's see how that works. Because I haven't been doing that or like recording videos that much since uh, I started uh, doing the haunt last year. I don't think I recorded many videos last year during the time that I was doing the haunt. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It'll be a learning experience for all of us, and it should be fun. I know that I had a lot of fun last year, and I'm going to have a lot of fun this year. I'm teamed up with somebody new, but the person I was teamed up last year uh, now works with me uh, at my full-time job and is one of my good friends so EA let's hope that uh, I make some new friends this year we have a couple we have a few new uh, haunt actors as well joining us this year so that's pretty cool if you get the chance come and say hi to us did I finally get this open did I yes I did okay Princess Zelda is out of her packaging everyone now like the other princesses in the line Princess Zelda has no leg posability. She is all about the dress. Now the chic Princess Zelda doesn't, isn't all about the dress. She does have quite a few points of articulation. She is also four and a half inches tall and uh, she has eight points of articulation. So that's not too much. You can see the dress, uh, I believe Princess Peach's dress, I believe she had feet but couldn't actually do anything. Uh, I'll have to look. I don't actually remember. Uh, I don't know where Peach is right now. She's in my box full of action figures, but here she is. She's got uh, her her gloved hands, her gloved arms. Goes all the way up nearly to her armpits. You can see right there. <coughs> she has articulation in her, her wrist. She can turn and bend her wrist. She's got uh, double articulation in her elbows. Boom and boom. And then she's got double articulation in her shoulders. Boom, boom. There we go. So she's got full range of motion in her in her arms and hands. She also has articulation at the waist and at the head. Her head appears to be on a ball joint, although it appears to be almost completely unnecessary, considering she can... Well, she can move it a little, okay. Now, I'm going to show you the ocarina. And I'm going to have to zoom in because this thing is tiny. Zoom in. There we go. There's the ocarina. And it's got all the holes. It is very detailed. And I don't believe she can hold it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her 
thumb to go in a hole or something. <laughs> She's holding the ocarina. Look at that. Cool. Okay, let's see if I can make it appear as though she's playing it. Eh. Eh. Play. Oops. Never mind. Well, you all see how that's turning out. So, <laughs> other than that, the figure looks great. It looks really good. Uh, again, this is another uh, Wind Waker HD figure. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Uh, I would have preferred if the character had uh, legs and like a cloth skirt for a dress. But, you know, wh whatever. They're just going up on the shelf anyway to look nice. But uh, there you go. There's Princess Zelda with her, with her tiny ocarina. We'll just put that down there for now. So, yeah, I know, this is kind of a silly, uh, this is a really short video, so I think I'm going to open my last, my last little figure. Uh, let's just zoom in back there, you can see the last wave and the new wave. We'll put Zelda right next to Skull Kid with the ocarina there. <coughs> and we will open our, our little shy guy. We have a little shy guy here, and he comes packaged the old way with the tape on the back and we're just gonna leave the camera zoomed in for now while I unpackage him you can look at all those beautiful other figures in the background <coughs> so Slippy seems to be dabbing or something because he likes to nay nay he likes to dab I don't know how that song goes and I don't care Come on, Shy Guy. There we go. Shy Guy appears to have a little bit of articulation. See, I thought that these smaller figures were just figurines, but some of them appear to have a little bit of articulation, which is kind of cool. I might have to look into getting some of the other ones. Uh, don't mind that rustling. I'm just throwing garbage away. But here is our little Shy Guy. He's adorable. And his arms do not move. Oh, wait. Yes, yes. One moves at least. At least one moves. But let's, can I get the other one to move? Does it move? Yes, it does move. Yay, he's got a little bit of articulation. He's not articulated in the, is he, is his feet, do his feet move too? Nope, his feet are one piece. He doesn't move at the waist like uh, the big shy guy. But uh, there he is, and he's really cute, and he's more to scale with your regular Mario figures. Because shy guys aren't the size of Mario, to the best of my knowledge, at least not in... Super Mario Brothers 2, where they're introduced. Um, now, Shy Guys have been portrayed a little larger in some of the other Mario games. So, but that's where this guy comes in. He's the bigger Shy Guy. And he's adorable and has moving feet and moving arms and a waist that moves too, as well as his little helicopter. He's got a little helicopter, which is adorable. But other than that, Shy Guys, Shy Guys are so creepy and cute at the same time. But there we go, there's Shy Guy. And uh, I think that's enough for this video. We have finished our Jack Specific 2-2. And then right behind it is 2-1. I've got them together. Uh, these are both 2-2 as well, even though they are smaller scale, but that's okay. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Apologize. Uh, until next time. I've really enjoyed doing these videos. I can't wait for the next wave of Jack Specific figures. And, uh, yeah, happy hunting. And try to be nice to people. I come in contact with so many horrible people on a daily basis. Almost daily basis. Till next time, happy hunting. Beep, 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 beep. And goodbye. Bye, everybody. Wish me luck on my hunts. And uh, tune in for my Skylanders. We're playing. You're watching. I'm naming them after you. Link, subscribe, and give me a like rating. See ya.